делом. What's up guys, welcome back. Look, we are two weeks away from duck season opening. So, uh, you know, we're still trying to check things off the list of what you guys wanted to see based off our live videos. So we're, we're gonna come out, do a little habitat work, a little prep work, not much, cause we already have a lot of ducks here. So, uh, in fact, we probably won't even do much work. I'm gonna just kind of slide in and out of some places uh, on foot show you guys some of our blinds what you can expect to see from us this hunting season maybe give you guys some ideas we'll also stop and check on the work that i did with the skid steer all that show you what that looks like now because it's got water on it um we were had to drive past it to get to right here first thing we're going to do is dump this corn in these deer feeders uh we don't i don't want anybody to think we got these corn on a four-wheeler for no no other reason so um but we're going to do that. We're going to fill up these feeders because, you know, we take care of everything. So um, let's get the corn feeders filled up and then we'll go show you some duck blinds. Oh. Ah. Corn and stuff. Deer taken care of. Let's go look at some ducks. Well, this is a blind that we built in the parking lot of the camp and drug out here. I told you it'd look a lot different once we got water on it. If you remember, it was all we had just mowed it clipped it then we let it grow back up so let it grow up I mean tell ducks already been in here this is beak sedge and all the seeds are gone off of it this is uh some kind of rush coming up i don't i don't know what it is or it may be a sedge maybe it ain't nut sedge or but you look right here and what we had some more uh, smart weed, pink smart weed coming up in here. So we need a frost, but it'll come. When you get a frost, it'll turn all this brown and all this stuff will lay down. Uh, but this is all native, so even if we wanted to, we could come in here and roll this. But this is this is a hole that they really start using later in the year. So opener, we're not worried about this hole being perfect. That blind's got to have a lot more brush on it. I've noticed a lot of beaver signs. So I don't know if beavers are coming and robbing some of our brush from us or whatnot, but uh, that needs at least two or three more loads of willows on it. So this is a trap. Take note, you will see me here later in the year, guaranteed. Stop two, we are at the Nook. So last year when we hunted in here, we hunted here New Year's Day. You may remember it, me and Godwin and my buddy Clay. Uh, Godwin stood right there on that tree and we had a pretty good hunt in here. Uh, again, this is another late season when you see it's kind of, it ain't, it's good feeding depth, but there's just not a lot of food in this area, but it's another, it's a little hidey hole. So that's why we call it the Nook. It's just kind of a little nook of a thing back in here. Uh, and as the ducks start getting pressured, they start trading away from open places. You come to right here. A cool thing about this blind, south wind, perfect. You can tell, like as the sun comes up, it's at your back. So ducks, when they're working, are looking into the sun. You need every advantage you can. And I mean, you're just sitting right here, ready to go. It's, uh, the beavers ain't got to this brush because the water's not quite as high up on the blind. So uh, we'll add a little more to it, but overall we're pretty good so we're just gonna keep on rolling turning through these things uh, we didn't do a whole lot of habitat work on this end we're trying to stage everything in kind of a successional deal where we can work on parts of it every other year or so like that and really uh, you know that way you get really good areas instead of having a bunch of eh, okay areas so uh, 
And then as you get on that rotation, your stuff will keep being better and better and better. So, um, you know, you'll see us in here. It'll be later in the year, but again, you'll see us in here. Last year, like I said, is New Year's Day. So before they really started using this area. So I would suspect ducks are most times creatures of habit. So I would suspect somewhere around New Year's Day, we'll be back in here trying to get them again. Moving on. So, if you ever want to know when you're finding feathers, if, you, if you're looking at drakes or hens or, you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But you'll see how this, these feathers here have barring on them. See that little bar? All that kind of little, oh my, look at them right there. They may just now be coming in here. Um, but anyway, when you see that, that's a drake. Only a drake duck has that barring on their feathers. So the technical term is vermiculation for those inquiring minds that want to know. He's been sitting right there with a decoy and this one, bloop, they just said, right on in here. All right, anyway. Before we were so rudely interrupted by some shovelers. This is the billy blind. So we hunted a lot here last year. Uh, a lot of our WRP footage that y'all watched last year. If you watched it, if you're new to the channel, go back and watch it. But anytime we were hunting in WRP, for the most part, it was right here. Uh, this spot, for whatever reason, I, I mean, I think I know the reason. This is like the lowest spot on the property. So as you can tell, if you just look around, we weren't able to come in here and work this ground at all. Um, it was on our list to work, but we just weren't able to. Uh, we had a pretty wet summer overall, and we just, between the beavers and the rain, we couldn't get the water out of here good enough to work the ground. So uh, this stuff coming up is just white smart weed, not near as desirable um, for their seed value. But as you can tell, gives a good invertebrate structure all the leaves and everything through the grass uh for snails and little shrimp and little crustaceans that you've never seen and i don't know the name of uh to get in there and when it's warm like it is right now this is the kind of stuff these ducks seek out they get in here sift through get the bugs they don't need the carbs so they don't need your hotter foods your millets and corn and rice and all that stuff so now they'll they'll be living in this kind of stuff uh when it warms up um but that's the billy blind right there it's set up uh kind of a southwest wind in mind but due south is actually perfect because south is there and they'll just come right around that tree right there and you shoot them right when they get into the decoys it's a it's a great little natural spot we've done nothing to this um uh, like i said this is all natural the coffee bean obviously we you know just like every other duck hunter in the world despise coffee beans so if we could get it out of here we would but we can't so we just deal with the with what you got and it's a little too deep to even chop it so this is just gonna have to do its thing we're just gonna have to let mother nature do its thing but something tells me we still gonna be all right right here this is this is just where they want to be day in and day out with a south wind you can sit right there turn your hat around and hold on because they coming but um that's it for the billy hole we gonna slide out i'm gonna show y'all one more blind it's a brand new blind the reason i'm showing you this now is so when we hunt it and we film out of it and me and clay get in an argument it gives you a little backstory to the argument but anyway let's get out of here we'll go look at that blind and uh then we're gonna call it a day, let these ducks have it. There's actually midday, nobody's hunting. There's no pressure, ducks are being ducks. You just look around and there's there's ducks starting to trade around back and forth now. So we wanna get out of here before they start using it. We don't wanna bump them. Even though they ain't gonna get no pressure, we just assume them never know that we exist until shotguns are loaded and, and everything's ready to rock.
I have no words. It's big, all right. Oh, all right, well. This, last one we're gonna look at. This is a brand new blind that I had nothing to do with, mind you. Nothing, nothing to do with. Uh, needs a lot more brush, obviously. But it's big. You can ride out a storm up in there. I'll say that about it. Uh, this blind is set up for predominantly a due north wind. This is, it's got a, look at them shovelers won't even come in here. Uh, coots, here come them four shovelers. Let's see what they do. That's not a shoveler right there. But anyway, so this was planted in millet. Um, tried to set back some succession of alligator weed. We got this one drained and dry, but we were just trying to shade that out and shade out coffee beans. So the only problem with this, we can't touch this. So what you see is what you get. Um, you know, you get one trail in, one trail out. And here's our trail right here. So we can't. We can't do nothing to that. We've got to depend on ducks and frost and weather to lay all that down. Uh, but you can tell it had a pretty good crop on it, but there's a lot of it missing, um, which is good. That means ducks already been in here and found it. But like I was saying, this one, we call it, I think, we always called it the green mile because like in mallards on a strong north wind, they'd get out there and turn in front of you and it'd take them forever to get here. It felt like it was uh, like, felt like they were flying from a mile they ain't 200 yards so this is it it's huge it's a big god awful thing but we'll get her brushed in it's here now there ain't nothing i can do about it so we know that every blind needs more brush which you 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 got to know that i mean the, the first time is never good enough so uh, leaves get flat limbs get flat they get dew damp heavy leaves fall off so we just got you know we got a day of cutting again and we'll be fine so uh, there ain't nothing to that. We'll load it up and get down here, but let's go check out that spot and then we'll be out of here. All right, so here is part of the area uh, that we were clearing on the skid steer this year. This whole thing was full of salt bush and just a bunch of junk, really. I mean, that's the best way to describe it. And where it's kind of open, you had a lot of good stuff. This is Sprangle Top that has very little seed left on it. This is like Indian grass or something. No real duck value, but just kind of a cool grass. The problem we'll fight now, like you see this stuff with this purple plumes, that's a uh, giant plume grass, no good. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on it. Um, stuff's incredibly, incredibly um, competitive and it'll outcompete everything you got. It's not native, I don't believe. Um, and in a lot of places all over the country, it's like replaced cattails. So it grows in the same place cattails does. So um, we're, we're going, don't you worry, we'll, we'll take care of him in the spring. But there's already feathers in here. And when we come in here, the first time there, we 13 mallards got up out of here. So I take that as a pretty daggum good sign that, that we've done some, some quality habitat improvement. Um, you got this other stuff right here. So this is foxtail. Um, you know, some people call it golden millet. I call it foxtail, but um, so there's plenty of food that come up. But main thing is just look, it's kind of a loafing area for a duck. If you can imagine just kind of a place to come chill, not really do anything. Uh, next year, it should really take off in food though. So, so far so good. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you'll see us kill a few ducks out of this stuff that we worked all summer on. That's two mallards trying to come in here while we're standing here. So we're going to ease out. Look, guys, this is kind of our wrap to the habitat. Um, now, next spring and summer, we'll do a lot more of it, show you some more stuff that we're doing to, to help improve it. But this for, for this year, for all intents and purposes, habitat work's done. Now you reap the reward of what you've done. We've done conservation all spring and summer. Now it's time to reap the rewards of that conservation. Um, so look, 
stick with us. In my opinion, the YouTube videos are about to get a lot more fun because two weeks, two weeks, and it's on. We're going to ba boom, bow, boom. The Benelli's going to be singing. Heavy shot going to be flying. It's going to smell like gunpowder in America. You know what I'm saying? That's what I believe in. Let's get the heck out of here.